What's going on everybody? So today I want to show you how to take your nozzle and lens assembly off. So that way you can clean it and reassemble it and get back to cutting. Okay, so some of these nozzle assemblies vary. Uh, this is the one that is on my 60 watt and on most of the machines that are uh, in the similar style. Uh, from what I understand, the ones that are the square blue may have a little bit different nozzle assembly and I'll do another video on that since I just got a new 100 watt machine um, so look for that shortly but on these style you come in and you want to press this blue retainer ring down with the hose down and then you will pull that out so we'll go over that again push the hose and the retainer ring down and then pull it out then you can go ahead and bend this guy down and I'm actually going to remove it because I'm bumping my, my red light there. So we'll remove that and then you can undo the nozzle. And then this is your assembly that you have there. So there is the lens with the cone and this retainer ring. Next thing you're gonna do is you're going to go ahead and remove this retainer ring. I have an older model, and so in some of the newer models, there is a also like a little bushing or a little um, white piece, a white ring that goes over the top of this. But you can go ahead and dump this out, and there is your focus lens. You wanna try and keep your fingers off of the actual top and bottom of the lens just to avoid any of that uh, smudging. Then I take um, some isopropyl alcohol and I'm gonna go ahead and just wet my cloth a little bit and then we'll clean the lens. So I just get a little bit of the isopropyl alcohol on here and then go ahead and clean that off. Um, sometimes you will get a lens that gets pretty dirty and you know we obviously don't want to scratch this but it will uh, you can give it a good rub especially with one of these microfiber cloths so there is my lens it is nice and clean the one thing that you do want to make sure I'm going to dry it off a little bit um, is that you put it back in the right way so there is two sides to this lens. If you look at it, one side is slightly curved upwards. So you wanna make sure that that upwards curved surface will go facing upward in the cone. So also, if you look at the lens itself, you can see your face inside of the lens if you're looking at it right. The side that's flat will actually show it more mirrored and just kind of a, a blown out image so you won't be able to see your full face. So you go ahead and you'll put that lens back in. And then if you have one of those other rings, the white rings, you'll put that in. And then go ahead and put your retainer ring back in. Then you go ahead and just mind your threads. You wanna make sure that this goes on nice and easy. Then again, we'll add this little elbow. And again, mind your threads. It should go on fairly easy. There we go. Okay, everything just finger tight. And then you go ahead, we'll take your black hose and just push it down in there again. And there you go. You've successfully taken it off, given a good cleaning, and then reassembled it, ready to get back to business. 
And there you have it, a quick little maintenance tip on cleaning your lens that is very important. Uh, I often try and make sure that I'm cleaning my lens probably a minimum once a week. Uh, if I'm doing a bunch of heavy engraving jobs or things where there's a lot of smoke happening, I clean it more often just to make sure that it is running as well as it can. Um, just a little bit of dirt, a little bit of soot can make a big difference when it comes to making clean cuts and great engravings. So keep your machine clean.